Okay, this two-year-old male neutered red dog called cross comes in with this uh, wound both sides on the leg. So now we have sedated the cat and one, one side has been cleaned up. Uh, you can see the, the past of this has been uh, clean. Okay, now we shave the other side. Yeah, the foot. So that's uh, easier to, uh, to press out the pass, release the pass, and the debris, and maybe the foreign bodies from the anti cat mat. The spikes have gone in, so that's the reason uh, there's a wound, is it? And the infection that there was pass there, the owners complained about pass. Okay, so now we have to clip off. Uh, it off and then we will clean up with the with the antiseptic and, and wash off. So this part is uh, the first part we are doing, and after that, hmm. see any more parts coming out or any foreign bodies coming out? Uh, uh, don't have, uh? Uh, Because it's important because the cat can't do it. Because the cat can't do it, so we have to do it for him. Most likely it's the spikes, uh, which you will see in the image. The spikes has gone in because these spikes is supposed to stop the cat from uh, going to that certain area, but the cat doesn't bother. The cat went in anyway. This, this spike mat is uh, put behind the sofa. So that in theory, the cat is supposed to avoid going in, is it? but the cat hides under the sofa. So he just goes in, but his back legs got caught in the spikes. And so these spikes have uh, gone into the skin, yeah, so it pus comes out here. Yeah. So you can see that we have to clear the pus and the foreign body as well, because normally there is uh, small spikes inside. And, uh, and the cat, of course, is uh, irritated by it. So this has been going on for about two months. Uh. Now they bought the, the anti-cat anti mat from Daiso. So Daiso sells such things. Daiso is a two two dollar store, and they have many uh, uh, items for sale at two dollars. So this is an interesting case. I was telling uh, Phyllis, and uh, she won't be able to see any more of such cases. Uh, this is only after a long discussion with the owner that we find out the cost is actually the spike mat from Daiso. So, so now we proceed to to the inner sack already. This one we will clean up later the bleeding let, let the blood comes out, the clean blood. So now we see the inner sac, use, use this one, nice, use this one. You see the inner sac, wait, uh, fill this the hole. Now wait, wait, let me show the inner sac. We just press a bit, you can see that. You can see the oil coming out. There, uh, wait, let's see the oil. Yeah. So this is uh, one thing, that's why you can see the inner area is very uh, dirty. You see the oil? Now normally, when they pass tools, the oil will come out by itself. So there is no need for this uh, oil to be stuck inside. So this is an impacted inner sac. And uh, this is really bad because the hand office. The, because uh, normally, uh, but in this case, it didn't come up with this. Mainly from the right side. Okay, clear first. Be clear first. Is it on the right side? You need to sedate the cat because the cat is very unhappy when you touch it. To do a good job, we need to sedate the cat. We should, the cat has been sedated. Uh, and uh, so now we express this, the oil. See whether the left side have a just not the one. Let me see the hand. Uh, no, no more right. Uh, use, use the hand. Sometimes uh, uh, it's more on the right side. Okay, so we, we do the right side. Now, some cases we put our finger in and then uh, we we through the rectum and then we we press the sac. Uh. Sometimes we don't need to. Uh, Sometimes we need to, the, it's called the digital expression of inner sex. No more. No more, okay. So this is mainly the right side, as you can see. Uh, the left side seems to be clear. So the reason is because the cat has been passing loose tools. Uh, loose tools, so the oil, so we, we, we shave a bit. The, the oil has not been able to, uh, to, be, to come out naturally. So this one, the second part, we clear the sack. And uh, unfortunately, you cannot, uh, do it with the cat, with the cat uh, awake because he's very sensitive to pain. So cats may be given zelazine 0.1 and ketamine, uh, ketamine 0.4 IM. 
Now this part, the nose part, is uh, due to the cat being a stroke by the owner. According to the owner, this cat is very happy when he strokes her on the nose, strokes him on the nose. So now we need to clear the infection. We shave a bit more so that we can uh, have a new area of healing. We shave and at the side, but not, not the whiskers. We don't shave the whiskers, we don't shave the whiskers. Eh? So then the owner will clean it and uh, let the new new uh, skin come out and then the hair will grow back. But it take a long time because the, this the damage to the skin due to stroking eh, has been going on for over two years. So the owner might be quite happy with the, the cat maybe. Cat uh, is so happy with this stroking so the owner keeps doing it. According to the wife, she uh, does it on the neck and the cat responds by purring. But for the for the husband, uh, for the husband, the the cat really loves it and when it does the nose, when it strokes the nose. So at this one we will follow up six months later. Now the ears, now you can see the ears, the ears there, there is a dirt there as well uh, because the owner is complaining about hair loss. Huh? So it's most likely the ear infection. Now, the ear infection. So. You can see that there's some dirt inside the ear. This, this dirt, uh, you can see. Although it's not much, the, the other ear, same thing, right? Same thing. Uh, there's some dirt there because this could be irritating to the cat, so he have been scratching it, causing generalized hair loss. According to the owner, the hair is not so, uh, so uh, full. So now we clean the ears, and this is easier done under anesthetic rather than. Uh, then uh, doing directly on the cat yeah. so we will put the ear drops in and uh, try and remove all the dirt in the horizontal canal horizontal canal of the ear by, by uh, massaging the ear canal and letting the dirt come out this is not a very serious one the ear problem but uh, this part of grooming it's difficult to, for the owner to groom a cat who that moves around. So this one is the the third one, two, three, four. This is the fourth procedure we do. And now we turn 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 upside down and see whether below there's any uh, skin infection or inflammation or hair loss. No, uh, no hair loss. We check this side. Check this side. Now you check this side and see. We check the penis because this fellow had some urinary tract infection last time. We check the penis. Now the penis, uh, let me see, it's a bit inflamed. Normally it shouldn't be so bluish. So open up a bit more. There is an inflammation as well. Hmm? A bit inflamed, but um, according to the owner, there is no complaint about uh, a urination. But uh, this shows that it's not normal. Normal one, it should be pink color. But you can see the penis is actually purplish. So there's another uh, problem discovered. Okay, finish already. Now we check the mouth, the teeth. Now you open up, you see. We check the teeth. Since that's not didn't allow me to check. See if there's any tartar, any gum disease. So far, uh, it looks good actually. A bit of tartar, right? A bit, yeah. There's a bit of tartar there. Okay, other than that, so they should be okay. So they finished the the treatment.